Welcome back to another Mr. Lee Teaches YouTube tutorial. Today I'm going to give you a quick tip on how to use PDFs on devices, specifically a Chromebook, and have the students annotate, highlight, fill in the blanks just like they would on a piece of paper, but you can send this home, they can work on it in class, and, and then they have an electronic copy to go back and review later. They can also go in and make changes. So let's check it out. So here we are in my Google Drive. And the important thing to remember is that the students will need to have a copy. So if you're using Google Classroom, you will need to make sure to make a copy for each student and not just share the, the link or, or you know, view only copy of it, but make sure that they have their own copy of it for this to actually work. So I'm gonna go into a PDF that I have. And so at the top of a PDF, if it is in your Google Drive or the students, you'll have an open with. And so you can either just look at it or print it but if you go to open with, you should be able to connect more apps. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add Doc Hub. I've already added it in my, on my side. So I'm going to go to connect more apps just to show you real quick. And it's just like an app store. Uh, it comes up and you can just search for Doc Hub. And there it is. And you'd be able to install it for free. It's a totally free. There's nothing paid about it. Uh, so we will close that or install it and then close it. And now we're going to be able to open with Doc Hub. So it'll open, it'll take a second. Now what it's doing is it's actually recreating this document in your Doc Hub account. It might ask you, it's not going to ask me because I've already used Doc Hub many times. I've used this for years. But it might ask for permissions from Google and it'll just say pick your user. Um, and you'll pick that and then it'll allow some permissions so that it can actually save things back to your Google Drive and that kind of sort. So just go ahead and you know click your name and, and click allow and then you'll have this. And so this is your Doc Hub account. So as you move through here, let's just make a change real quick and I can show you. There we go. Now you see it says saving. It's not saving it to your Google Drive. It's saving it to your Doc Hub account. So that's kind of good and bad. It's good that if you lose power or internet or something like that, your document is still there. But it's bad in that if students see that, they think, oh, it's in my Google Drive, I don't have to worry about it. That's not the case, and I'll show you in just a second. So let me just delete that real quick. And so here we go. Um, we can click on all of these tools here. So A would be a text box. So I'll put a text box up here and put my name. And then I can, if it's in the wrong spot, I can actually go back and move it by clicking there. I can move it down. So I can either trash it or move it by, by grabbing the thing. So if it's in the wrong spot, I can move it. And then I can also highlight things. So if I'm reading this for, for content, I can go through and see that, well, he recruits 100 customers. So I want to highlight that because I think that might be important. And the other 50, group B, so where's group A? He has 50. So this is where I can go in and highlight just like I would with a highlighter. And again, if I highlight the wrong spot or I'm a little bit off, I can move the highlight around. I can also very simply grab the pen tool. And so I can choose shapes or a pen. And if I grab the pen, I can say, there were 30 customers, so I can draw a circle. Oh, my circle's kind of off. So let me grab that, and I can move that so I'm circling the 30. So you see how easy it is to go in and annotate just like you had a pencil and paper. It's a little bit more where if it's a little bit off because I'm using a trackpad, uh, it's not as smooth as a piece of paper. So I'm not advocating this over paper but this could be in addition to paper or as a homework assignment that's easier than sending home paper, um, but that kind of thing. But then also, like I said, you could do shapes, so that would actually make circling easier. So I got eight customers here, so I'm gonna put a circle around eight. And then I can always change the colors of these things too by coming up here and, and I'll make that orange. And I want this one to be green. So and the highlight's the same way. I can change the color of the highlight to a more traditional yellow or maybe a red. And so I got real customization. 
real utility and it's super simple. Now, this is what I was gonna show you. Once you're done, and remember they can put text boxes down here and answer the questions too. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna download or export. Now we're not really exporting it and we're not really gonna download it necessarily, but the option gives us the ability to actually download it or save it to our Google Drive. And that is what I tell people to do. You can turn it directly into Classroom and that's okay, but it basically creates a link and then the link goes to the Classroom. And so it's a little bit more messy if something were to break along the way. If you go straight to Google Drive, it saves, or look, create a copy. So it'll either overwrite the original file or you can make a copy. So make a copy, so you have the original still, and then export it to your Google Drive and it puts it back in the same folder. And now, so I'm gonna show my drive. So now students can go back into Google Drive or Google Classroom and turn in that assignment just like they would any other Google Doc. Um, or anything else that you would have them turn in Google Classroom. They should be used to that, that, flow, that workflow, uh, but this way it's in their Google Drive. If something happens with Classroom or, or whatnot, they still have a copy of it, and they have the original if they wanna go back, and they can also go back in. So you see now, this is, I'm showing it in my Google Drive. So this has been saved. This is the new copy in my Google Drive. Let's take a look so I can prove it to you. There we go, we got, this is the original one from June. This is the one I just did just now. So it does have the same name, so be careful with that. But this one that we just finished, if it'll open, has my annotations on it. So let me go back out of that. So this is the new one with the annotations. I can open it with Doc Hub. I'm gonna use the existing, it gives me the option to go back and create a duplicate of this if I wanna keep the changes and make more changes. Um, but I'm just gonna use the existing one. But you see, the existing one already has everything still there. So if I need to download it to my Google Drive, save it there, and then come back to it at another time, I totally can do that. So I hope, so I hope that this helps you. I know a lot of times when we're moving from a paper environment to an online environment with Chromebooks or, or other devices, um, it's hard to make that transition with things that you're, you're used to, the students are used to, and it's good to mark up documents. Um, that is always a beneficial thing for students to be able to do. So this gives you that ability on a Chromebook or a computer, anything where you can get to the web version of Google Drive and add that app, Doc Hub, and be able to let students annotate, color, draw, that sort of thing, just like they would on a piece of paper, but it's in an electronic environment. So I hope this helps you. I hope this makes things easier for you as you transition from a uh, more traditional classroom to a technology infused classroom. Or if you've just been using technology for a while and didn't know about this, this is a great tool to have. Uh, it will work 99% of the time. But remember, students have to have ownership of the document they're, they're working on and it's always good to export it to your Google Drive and then turn it in because you can always go back and work on it again later or you have that copy just in case something happens. Thanks for watching. Come back next week and we'll have a new video for you. Thanks. Don't forget to subscribe.